Has anyone ever made a kilt from flannel? Has anyone ever made a kilt from flannel? Have they? Yes. <laughs> Have they done it well? No. Um, the the issue with, with making a kilt from flannel is basically the fibers themselves. Uh, the material, you know, flannel, would actually grab itself as it kind of rubs back and forth, so there would not be any proper swing to the kilt, um, and it would, it just wouldn't really lay right. I would even kind of be concerned about the, the two aprons, the front apron and the under apron, on top of each other and, like, pulling weird off to one side or whatever. I mean, even working with flannel for historic garments, the, the just the, the sponginess of it is going to be, you're not going to get a crisp edge on it as you would with some of the other stuff, uh, like with wool or, or PV. Uh, it, it just, it's going to, it's going to cling on, like you said, it's going to cling on to itself. Cling on. Cling on <laughs> to itself? I just heard that as I said it. <laughs> that was not a borging answer, Mac. Oh, that's horrible. Too much coffee, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ian, would you ever make a kilt from flannel? Uh, I would not. I think that would be a bit too floppy. What about a, like, a pajama kilt? Would you wear a pajama kilt? Instead of ghillie footies? He's trying to make me angry. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... I'm gonna expound. Pajama kilt. Good idea? Not a good idea. Does it have footies or not? Is it like a, is it like a, like a big onesie? No, no, a regular kilt. For lounging around the house slash pajamas. No, I'd, at that point, I'd rather have a, uh, uh, if I'm wearing just a, a kilt that's lounge around in, just a regular casual. I think, I think you're still going to, you're going to get up from laying on the couch or, or sitting in your, your recline chair. You're going to get, you're going to get that all smushiness and it's just going to be, you're going to have more of a tutu on by the time you're done than a kilt. Right. Um, I would, I'm going to give an unpopular answer. I wouldn't wear a pajama kilt, nor would I wear a lounge around the house kilt. To me, now, in fairness, to me. With green eggs or ham? <laughs> <clears throat> to me, lounging around the house consists of laying down on the couch. Um, and... A, a kilt is not conducive to laying down in. No. Because you end up with stuff, you know, underneath you, so it's never going to lay, like, flat. Mm -hmm. If I'm just lounging, like, when I get home from work, I'll put on a pair of, uh, like, loose-fitting shorts and a T-shirt um, yep. to lounge in versus a kilt from an aspect of it's going to be too... Yeah, it's going to, like, bunch up underneath me as I'm, like, you know, rooching around on the couch or if I want to, you know, turn over and, you know pass out and take a nap well like, we wear our kilts for war one reenacting and we're going back to the bunker and bedding down for the night a lot of guys will wear their kilt will keep the kilt on when they're sleeping in, in the that'll in keep the them warm rack. yeah keep them warm usually what i do is i take it off and use it as a blanket run it open it up vertically i've so done that it goes all the way across so it, it yep. creates a nice blanket yeah um but there we're also getting we're also getting the straps and buckles caught in the in the, the chicken wire that is our uh that our rack too but uh um, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> just laying down in it is not, not ideal. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, no to flannel, no to pajama kilts. Mm -hmm.